Did you know that you could just take the pencil, tap it on a locked iPad screen and start taking a note instantly? And if you made a mistake while writing, you could swipe with three fingers left or right to undo or redo. And I could copy text or images by just pinching in with three fingers and paste it by pinching out with three fingers. And by the way, you could go and paste this on your iPhone with the same gesture. And just like that, there are a couple of things I wish I knew when I started using the iPad. For example, and I've lost count of this, I would switch to eraser mode by mistake so many times and then go back and erase everything and then write again. But I could have just gone to Apple Pencil settings and turned off the double tap feature completely. And then we already know that I could erase by simply swiping with my three fingers. Next, on the magic keyboard, there's a globe icon. And if you use that with N, it opens the notification panel. If you use that with C, it opens the control center. If you use that with A, it would call up the dock. And if you use that with H, it just goes into the home screen. Now, one of the things that I've really missed is the escape key. And that's because the magic keyboard just doesn't have it. But you could make another key function as the escape button. So if you go into hardware keyboard settings, and go into modifier keys, you can make one of these keys function as the escape key. So for example, I don't use caps lock. So I've assigned that to function as escape. So now let's say I'm about to add a task and I just want to escape. So I just press caps and then I can discard. Additionally, you can use the command button with the period key to function as escape. Now let's say you're typing a message and you would rather just speak it out. You could double tap the control button to start dictation. I mean, just speak out whatever needs to be typed and it's going to be ready for you to send, just like that. And so this way you could do more of a hybrid typing, which is flexible and frankly faster. But let's say you're using the virtual keyboard, which frankly takes up a lot of space. You could just pinch in and get to the iPhone keyboard with gesture typing, which you know is accurate. And you still get all that screen estate to read easily. And you can just pinch out to go back to the normal keyboard mode. Next, if you'd like to work on two Word documents or even three at the same time, you could do that by using shelves in iPad. So you're already working on one Word document. Tap globe A, tap on the Word icon, and then tap on this new window over here, which opens up another instance of Microsoft Word. And this is a whole other file. Now, if you want, you could actually place them side by side in split mode and work on them simultaneously. So you can work on a new document and have the other document for reference. Now, if you want to open a third instance, tap on Word again in the dock, tap on plus for a new window, and there you go. This is the third Word document that you're working on. Speaking of split screen, you could also open up two instances of files to manage and organize your files, just like you would on, let's say a laptop. To do this, open files and then call your doc and tap on the files icon again. Open another instance of files. Now, go to your multi-window view and then drag and drop files next to each other. Open the original source where you wish to copy from on the left and then where you want to copy on the right. Hold and drag the first file and then while holding it, select all the other files that you wish to copy and just drag it and drop it on the destination folder. That's it, the copying is done. Now, one of my favorites is quick notes. So let's say I'm researching and there's a quick thought and I want to take it down. I just slide from the bottom right and take down that note. I can also quickly reference the link I was on while making that quick note. And I can resize the quick note to a more decent size if required. I can also quickly add a highlighted text on a web page to a quick note. And that way also create a bookmark to that website. And when I go back to the website, I can see that highlighted content. And I can very easily browse through all my quick notes just by swiping left and right. So yeah, these were some things I really wished I knew before I started using the iPad. And these are things that I've figured out over the use of iPad or I've seen someone else do it by chance. But yeah, it has really improved the way I use my iPad. All right, that's pretty much it guys. If there are any things that you think can help me further, leave them in the comment section. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll definitely get back to you. Alright, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.